Welcome to Meatless Eats. Today we're eating Jimmy Dean Delights plant-based patties. And this is the spinach and white egg. So if we weren't reviewing this, I probably wouldn't have bought it. I'm really not a big fan of frozen spinach. Um, for some reason, all the vegetarian and vegan food, they like to throw spinach and uh, like kale. kale and stuff like that so, in it, thinking that we're all doing this just to be healthy, not thinking that, hey, maybe there's some people that just don't want to eat animals. Um, but we're going to eat it and try it out for you, and hopefully it's better than what I think it's going to be. So like we like raw spinach, like we put fresh spinach yeah. on all kinds of things, like in salads, we top all kinds of meals with it. But like she said, frozen spinach is usually really, it's like canned spinach. Mm -hmm. It's slimy, it's usually Weird. not very good. Okay, another thing I wanna point out about this, right before we take a bite, I guess I could say it as we're eating, but the directions on this was extremely difficult. So these are probably very chewy is what I'm expecting. We had to microwave them above and beyond what it says and microwaving is the only directions on the box. Let me, you know what, let me see yours. Yours was, looks a little bit better than mine, but um, it's still not the best looking. There's that, there's this bad boy. Your patty, oh my God, your patty feels so hard. Let's just go ahead and eat this. <laughs> is it real cheese or is it fake cheese? I'll find out here in a okay. second. Ready? Ready? Boom. <laughs> well, the middle is so hard. Mine is probably less hard than yours, but it's still, it's not bad. Um, let me taste the sausage by itself because there's some really good plant-based sausage out there. The sausage reminds me of frozen microwaved sausages though. I mean. It's not that far off. Yeah, the sausage is okay. Now, if you think about some of the other stuff out there, the Beyond Sausage and the Impossible Sausage are both so freaking amazingly good. They should have just went with that instead of trying yeah. to do their own thing here. But with doing their own thing, they can use their own seasonings. And you can tell that they did put a lot of seasonings in it. It does have a really strong taste, whereas hmm. some plant-based like patties like this, they don't really have a taste to it. They usually just take on whatever you put on it. This still has a taste to it. It still is super seasoned like sausage. I was actually thinking it wasn't really? heavily seasoned. Like, you it's okay. It's okay, it's so hard. but I'm just thinking about some of the what some of the other sausages taste like, and a lot of the other ones have a lot more like peppery flavor. The texture reminds me of chicken when you pull it apart. Everything is just so. Basically, what what this says is, you're supposed to wrap these in a paper towel and defrost them for like 90 seconds, then flip it over and cook it for 70 seconds. I did that, and the middles of both of the patty and uh, the egg were like solid cold. So I went back in for some more defrost, some more cooking. It was still cold after the second bout. And that I added almost another minute to it. And then I did like an extra like 20 seconds or so in the microwave mm -hmm. to get them both done. So it's not that convenient. If this is something you're trying to eat in the morning and having to think and do, do all this defrost stuff. and it. Exactly, defrost and How then cook. How often do you defrost the microwave sandwich? Ow, oh, crap. And it doesn't say anything on here about cooking from defrost. Like if it, like it should be able to be defrosted in your fridge and wake up in the morning and then cook it. And so it'd be a lot easier, but there's no directions on how to cook it um, besides cooking from frozen. It's the only way. And it's not very good. I'm going to be honest. It's not very good. I would not buy this mm -hmm. again. The, I would. The bread is like microwaved bread. Yeah, that's. It's like spongy. That's what never makes sense to me about microwaved sandwiches is that there's no way the bread takes as long to cook as the mm -hmm. as the stuff in between it, right? And the cheese usually gets really hard and crispy because the cheese doesn't need to, need to be cooked that long. The bread always gets chewy, and then the inside always has a, a cold spots. So let's put some mustard on it and see if it like helps slide down my gullet a bit bit more. But honestly, I feel this way over all microwave sandwiches. Even when I was a meat eater, I never really liked microwave sandwiches because they got freaking weird. So if you're already a fan of microwave sandwiches, this is pretty close. The spinach and the egg isn't bothering me like I thought it would. Actually, you can't even really taste that it's there. Mm -hmm. the, egg, the egg is decent. No, you're 100% right. There's no bad flavors. It's just the texture. It's ex you are 100% on the nail. If you eat microwave sandwiches, maybe you have a better way to cook them. Maybe you're okay with it being chewy. Not that big of a deal because the flavor is good. Mm -hmm. Flavor's there. There's no weird, a lot of times mm -hmm. there's a funky flavor with the fake meat, um, especially like new people coming up with stuff. Uh, we've had Gardein stuff. We've had um, what those pot pies, the meat, and the quote unquote meat. Yeah, that was Gardein too it was in there. Mm -hmm. Oh my, it was. It was not good in my in my opinion. It was not good. But this, this is okay. No, this is on point. Mm -hmm. It's just the cooking isn't very good. If they can figure out a better way to cook it, or maybe someone knows a trick that we don't know. Yeah, it really isn't bad. 
Okay, this is cheap. It's a frozen, microwavable breakfast sandwich. I'll tell you what, you wake up in the morning with a slight bit of a hangover, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. No. Mm -hmm. But it's just the fact of like, I'm got, I'm reading it, I'm like, defrost, what? Wrapping this and then flip over and mic, I just want to put it in the microwave and push a button, right? Mm -hmm. And when it's morning and I'm going to eat something like this, that means I'm pretty lazy because this is already a pretty easy sandwich to cook. You cook up an egg, you, you put English muffin on toast in the toaster, and it's, it's done. It's a real egg too, right? So this is totally like so, a yeah. vegetarian thing, not a vegan mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Am I getting chewing? Chew, chew, chew. It says it's made with real eggs. There's also quinoa in it, brown rice, and beans, which I'm assuming is in the patty. Yeah. And um, it's plant-based patty and uh, frittata sandwich. So it doesn't say anything about fake cheese. So it's real cheese, real egg. So for being, a... being bean and quinoa and rice-like, um, that makes me think of the breakfast patty or the hamburgers they have at Culver's. If you've ever been to Culver's and had a Culver's ha like veggie patty, it's made out of rice and, and quinoa and lentils and stuff and it falls apart and you can tell it's made out of rice the way it looks. This doesn't look like it's made out of rice. If I would have read that it was a rice based thing, I would think that the texture of the patty would be a lot different than what it actually is. This is more of like a Beyond Burger consistency um, over the rice based consistency. Um, I'm just going to finish my patty as you're talking there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it wasn't bad. It was a frozen sandwich. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still hard? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so hard. Guy, I think yours got extra hard in the yeah. process. So, yeah, if you guys want to see more plant-based food reviews, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace.